r slash dating over 30. Luke Fleming's 89 says. I'm 29 slash F. Starting to feel really uneasy about my BF. 34 slash M. Moving in with me just two weeks left till the move. This is a super multi-layered issue but basically. He's getting dem evicted, and I have my own place so, after two years together, moving in would seem like the natural next step. However, due to several reasons, I'm getting increasingly anxious, like almost sick to my stomach levels, as the date draws nearer. He's unemployed, and has been without work of any kind, since the end of 2022. I told him previously, after losing his job, but before he got notice of the dem eviction, that I'd like him to be employed, before moving in with me yet here we are. He promised me, that he'd be employed by the end of his unemployment insurance which is coming up soon, and followed that up by saying, if it doesn't work out with a good job, he'll pick up 2 to 3 mediocre ones to help out. He has little to no drive to look after himself. Back issues that have been plaguing him for years, and can get, so severe that he has to lay down on the ground. Chiro, I told him that's an okay short term resolution, but not in the long run, and that he should see an actual doctor, to figure out what's causing the pain in the first place. He dismisses it by saying a doctor would just prescribe painkillers anyway. Completely changing topics, when I suggest a kinesiologist to set up a rehabilitative program, some of my family members have back issues, so I'm quite familiar with this kind of stuff. He gets randomly nauseous to the point of puking throughout the night 1 to x slash month. Which is of course dreadful, yet when I suggest seeing a doctor or professional of some kind of address it, he says there's no need. That his mom has similar symptoms occasionally, and he's okay just toughing it out. Too long, didn't read, I'm feeling backed into a corner as the date my boyfriend and I agreed he'd move in on comes closer, and realize that basically none of the promises he said he'd fulfill by this time have materialized. I feel bad for even broaching this topic with him considering the... Pretafliffora reply says. Only one thought, don't let him move in with you. Dreamhouse M Eat Cute says. If you are sick to your stomach I think you need to listen to that. You do not need to be this guy's mom. Willix says. When I first read this, I thought you were referring to how Op's boyfriend's back hurts so much it makes him vomit. That's usually a sign that something is very physically wrong. Brassing Bracing says. OMG do not let him move in with you, if you're feeling these very valid, deep-seated anxieties about his many issues. It'll be so much harder, to have him move out later, than to have this conversation now. As hard as you think it'll be to bring up, it'll be so much worse, if you let it keep going, you have to draw your own lines and set your own standards, no one will do it for you. Willix says. You've been together two years and he won't take care of himself even at your request. That's a deal breaker. I don't take care of myself normally, but I always do when someone I care about expresses concern. Blackout underscore AU says. Don't. Speaking from experience, when I rented a place with my then girlfriend who was unemployed, and also not taking care of herself. Very quickly it became obvious that she had been hiding a lot of behaviors, and once she was secure in the place she became incredibly dependent on me. What followed were two years of stress, exhaustion, and misery that finally pushed me to end a relationship that had just been hanging on forever. Personally during the time I was miserable, gained a lot of weight, couldn't save any money, or do any of the things I wanted, and was just generally exhausted. I'd go to work for 10 hours, do the shopping on the way home, buy her tobacco, get home and cook dinner, feed our cats, do the dishes, often then have to take her to her dealer's house so she could get part which she needed to sleep, and which I also often needed to pay for. All of that plus all of the cleaning every time we had a rental inspection, all the gardening, all the maintenance, having to keep track of everything for her, and always just having to do everything for her. Can you see yourself here? If you even have to ask this question to strangers I think you might. 
don't let this guy move in with you until he has a proven track record of consistent behavior changes. r slash dating over 30. Rune 248 says. Is she into me? Can I ask her on a date? I have really bad social skills, I'm autistic and I'm really shy. I could use a few more opinions. I don't necessarily need a hard yes or no. I'll settle for a soft 60% chance she's into you. Anyway, here are some deets, I'm 30 something years old male, and we met at work in an Amazon warehouse. When we first met, she would smile and wave at me, although we didn't know each other's names, but I actually have a crush on her. She's much shorter than me, but I think she has the cutest smile, big curly blonde hair, and sparkly blue eyes. Actually I think she's pretty hot. One day, we start talking about exercise, and I told her how I've successfully lost 50 pounds. I used to weigh 230, now I'm 180, and I'm slowly working my way down to 160. She sounded really happy for me, I got her name, and I gave her mine. I see her with her friend at work one day, and decide to hang out with them so can get away from everyone else. She tells her friend about me, and how cool his story is, we start talking, but I felt really shy in the moment, because I thought I had accidentally barged in on their convo. She seemed unfazed by it, she even compliments me on my hair, I also compliment hers, and she starts to giggle and smile. I'll learn more about her, and learn that we like the same things, D, and D, Star Wars, Dune, Last of Us, Lofi music, asthma, meditation, etc. Oftentimes, she'd go no way, Stu hoop, that's so cool, and we'd go down a rabbit hole talking about certain topics like space, Star Wars theories, etc. About a week later I asked for her for her number. She seemed to hesitate a moment, but she gave me her snapchat, maybe I just caught her off guard? I never asked a woman for her phone number before. But, I took it as a huge win, turns out, she's a really busy person between work and school. Which is no problem for me, I'm also busy between school and my two jobs. Generally I send her a few texts throughout the week, and she responds when she's able, and we'll spark up a long text conversation from there. The subject of my birthday had came up, so she asked me what kind of cake do you like? I told her my favorites. The next day after work, she guides me to the break room fridge, and gives me a birthday card and this giant box of crumble cookies. Nobody has ever done that for me before, I give her a big hug. She returns it, I've never been so happy in a long time, I've never had a girl do that for me before, I thanked her profusely. I went back to my house, opened the card, and the whole thing is filled with writing from front to back, explaining that she thinks I'm a kind soul and smart strong talented, etc. It's an amazing card, I still have it, I told her this week, I'm going to leave town for a few days, so I can see my parents in another state, and visit them at the renaissance fire. She told me to send her pictures, and tell me how it goes, every time she's around me, she's always smiling, and happy, giggling, I make her laugh a lot, even though my jokes and stories aren't that funny. I feel like a really special friend to her, but I would like to be more than friends, but only if she's comfortable with it, otherwise, I'm perfectly happy to be her friend, I really want to ask her on a date. I have a plan on how to do it, but I want to get other people's opinion, first. Are there are any girls here who can offer insight on what she thinks of me? Is there a good chance she has feelings for me, too? I'm not good at reading people. I really like seeing her, and I would like to see more of her outside of work. Hopefully in the future, if we start dating in the future, I would love to be her boyfriend. Thank you for reading. What underscore long term says. We have a Pam and Jim situation. Kinkadeen says. This is such a cute thought bundle, and if I found someone who is genuinely interested in me, wants to hang out, and protective of me, I would rather give it a fair try to see if we can tune and make something beautiful of our time together. 
but for you, I think before you let it develop more in your head, just put a disclaimer that you actually like her as a person and would never disrupt your work relationship with her, but would like to invite her on a date. That would put her in a safe place to say yes or no. I actually do more than this with my co-workers, I have been in really shitty work environment so always try to make my colleagues feel happy and relaxed while they are with me. If she is a natural fixer or people pleasure then she will do this with anyone. But for you, it is better to have a no at the beginning and then build a solid work colleague relationship than keep on guessing. Jala Tango says. Definitely ask her out. There's nothing to lose. She's flirting with you because she feels comfortable around you and wants to be around a nice guy. That doesn't mean she is available, but it is definitely worth making a move. As long as she's not wearing a ring. Good luck. Legend of Darius says. If I get flack for this I don't care, but don't be a conch and just ask her out. Maybe a coffee date first, and if it goes well a proper one. But tiptoeing around and wondering about it won't cut it for you or for her. In Spain we say el no yellow teens which translates to a no you already have so what's the worst that can happen. Never wait for an external push to go after someone you start liking. Manfro Meyer says. You look like your friend zoned. Just state your intent and see how she reacts. You said it yourself, so you can say you have the most blue sparkly eyes I have ever seen in my life and watch her cues. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.